So I recently got back from a trip to discover this sitting on our glow forge, and I think it is a present from Adam Benzian, our CEO, who was in town recently. And my guess is that he has backed the You Do Bolt campaign uh, last year in 2018, and they have recently delivered. This is a very exciting board for me. And there are some great friends of ours, including Michelangelo, who came with us on our hackathon tour in 2015, and Ettore Chimenti, whom I got to interview in Stockholm. So you can check out that interview still on Hackster from September last year for all the down and dirty details, but I want to focus on opening this thing up and having a look at the insides because I'm pretty excited. So let's get going. First up, I see that there is a gigabit Ethernet LAN adapter with 3-port USB 3 hub. This is extremely exciting because I can never have enough adapters, especially if it's... Let's have a look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It looks like it's nicely made and it's got that Ethernet adapter on it, so that'll make it way easy to uh, connect to fast Ethernet. Ideally in hotels and such. I'm actually thinking this would be a really cool sort of portable Windows computer. I don't know. The thing about this mini computer is that it can run different OS's, including Windows, Mac, and Linux, as well as a number of other things. It's also got an Arduino built in. Look at this though. Shiny black or glossy black on matte black. Oh. Love this design. Ooh, it's like a little peek into it. Okay, so there's some safety information first and a start QR code but you can also just go to udo.org slash get-started-bolt. Don't get it wet, don't touch the warm and moving parts, do it in a well-ventilated environment, da da da, there's SVC certifications. Man, man, man. Oh, so it comes with a metal case that, uh, and the certifications depend on it being inside that case. Mm -hmm. Only handled by the edges to minimize ESD. Don't be mean to it. Ooh, look at this beautiful thing. Did it come with a metal case? I don't know if it if it didn't come with a metal case. Uh, maybe we didn't get that edition. It seems like it fits well in this package without it. But wow. So this is a little hefty, actually. It's it's got a fan on it, and it's a hefty chunk of metal. Um, all the Yudu boards are kind of like this because they're super high powered, so they have all these different ports and things. You're about to see that. This one can run four 4K monitors in at 60 frame per, frames per second at once. It's designed for gaming, for media, for mixed reality, VR, etc. All kinds of stuff. It's ridiculously powerful. Just ridiculously powerful. And so the original price for this, I think, was around $230. Um, but what you get for that is an incredibly high-powered computer uh, all in one. And look at this groove connectors. Are those groove connectors? Ground voltage, transmit and receive, ground voltage, A1 and A0, ground voltage, SDA er, and SDL, or SCL, <laughs> or D2 and D3. Huh! Cool. So you've got some I2C on there, some SPI. We've got what looks like two Raspberry Pi headers? Huh. We've got a coin cell, presumably for the real-time clock, some USB ports, and a little tiny audio out. These appear to be speaker connectors. And then we have more audio over here. Two HDMI outs, two USB-C ports here. Ethernet, and what is this? Is this a power jack? It looks like it. Yeah, DC in. Uh, you've got an interesting double LED here. Look at that, it's two in one. A couple of expansion slots as well. The cool thing about this is that if I put a case around it, some kind of 3D printed thing, presumably, um, I would be able to hook it up to my computer using a an HDMI to USB capture cable and just use that as the monitor and have basically another computer with me wherever I go for work. Which is very exciting for me because there's a number of things that I want to do without having to lug an entire extra laptop around. The Pi 4 is very exciting for that, but it's still, uh, you know, th so that's a Linux computer. So I can have a Linux computer, a Mac, and a Windows PC, maybe, like all in one little box. I don't know, it's nice to think about. Let's take a look at some of the specs. 
portable breakthrough supercomputer that goes up to 3.6 gigahertz thanks to the brand new AMD Ryzen embedded V1000 SoC, a top-notch multi-core CPU with a mobile GPU on par with GTX 950M, and yes, they do suggest using this for cryptocurrency if that's what you're up to, integrated Arduino compatible platform all wrapped into one. That's right, Arduino compatible. It's ridiculous. AI, IoT, edge computing, computer vision, real-time big data analysis, all kinds of cool stuff. I think that you should check out the Kickstarter campaign, if only to watch the amazing video starring our friend Michelangelo. <laughs> Hello. How is one Anyway, so yeah, it's basically a MacBook Pro 13-inch plus a powerful GPU plus an Arduino all in one. They also suggest using it for League of Legends or Fortnite. And look at this comparison between the Udibolt V8 and a 13-inch MacBook Pro. This one is the V3, as it says on the package. So even that is slightly ahead of the MacBook. So what's the difference between the... V3 and uh, the V8. 3.2 gigahertz rather than 3.6. Ah, the AMD Radeon Vega 3 rather than the Vega 8 graphics. One other cool sign about this campaign is that they've been very responsive, including listening when people who ordered these mentioned that apparently they weren't getting the power that they expected out of the board. They came back, did a bunch of research after listening to their users, and came back with this update on how to speed it up. It has to do with the BIOS power usage options, and you can set it to 25 watts instead of 15 watts, which is its default set to the auto setting. And here we have a full comparison of the two boards. Let's take a look. Four threads instead of eight threads, and yeah, the three GPU instead of the eight. But besides that, everything is pretty much the same. I'm not planning on doing any cryptocurrency mining on this, and both versions will support four 4K monitors at 60 frames per second, so I'm not really worried about any of my applications requiring more than that. I'm very curious to see how it would do for video streaming, because what I have right here is basically a 13-inch MacBook Pro. That being the case, I'm going to have to set this up sometime soon, and I'll report back on its performance, especially I'm curious to see how it performs versus the Pi. Share your experiences too, from like a hardcore computer person's perspective. Hack on! <laughs>